and the House of Representatives has passed for second reading a bill seeking the creation of state police. The bill sponsored by the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, alteration bill also seeks to the transfer police from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list, a move that effectively empowers states to have state-controlled policing. The establishment of state police has been a subject of controversy and has been advocated for by various regional socio-political organizations and state governors as a viable solution to the escalating security challenges faced by the nation. The purpose of the state police bill is to establish state police as part of the ongoing efforts to address security challenges in Nigeria. The bill is coming in the wake of rising insecurity in the country and comprises 18 clauses which seeks to amend section 34, 35, 39, 42, 84, 89, 129, 153, 197, 214, 215 and 216 of the constitution. Leading to the debate on the bill during plenary, Honorable Tolani Shagaya said there is an urgent need to decentralize the police force to tackle the security challenges in the country. The establishment of state police is a clarion call for a tailored, community-centric policing system. It, also, it is also an acknowledgement that our states are uniquely positioned to address the security challenges within the borders. The alterations proposed in this bill are not just alterations to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They are also the building blocks for the more secure, accountable and resilient Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I urge you to support this bill. Contributing in favor to the debate, some lawmakers said the clamor for state police is long overdue. Issues on insecurity on the floor of this house from the beginning of ninth assembly to date there was no single week that there was no matter of urgent public importance that has to do with security. The record is there, you can verify. Mr. Speaker, most of these motions were referred to committee on either military, sorry, the Navy, Air Force, Army, or police. Sir, it's not the responsibility of the Nigerian Army. The police should be licensed, like universities are licensed. For instance, if you want to set up a university in a state, if a state wants to set up a university, they will go to the NUC, NUC will license them. So we should find a way of licensing police. Any state that meets the condition precedent that is formed by maybe the police service commission can apply that in the seventh and eighth assembly i am one of those who champion champion the killing of this type of people our reasoning then our reasoning then was that state governors will use the bill to intimidate and harass political opponent but with the situation we are in now we have gone far, far beyond that. Speaking against the bill, a lawmaker noted that policing is capital intensive and before establishing the state police, there is a need to address socio-economic issues of the society. About 21 states or so in this country are caught up in the quagmire of socio-political, ethno-religious misunderstanding. Put the case of establishing state police in these 20 states. I can give you an example. How do you create and balance the, the establishment of a state police in the trajectory history of political situation in Plato states today? And the lawmakers unanimously voted in support of the bill when it was put to a voice a note. A voice vote, I beg your pardon. The bill was referred to the Committee on Constitutional Review. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.